Nodwick, stay here till we return. Hi, my lord. Turn those ghouls since that would help us not die. Hey guys, I don't we know. Need to take the trap, Cass. The Green Mouse would be proud. That was an ambush, not a trap. Even you should know the difference. Oh, by the way, way to defend the cleric there, Conan. He lived all what six seconds. Real smart, giving the clear path to the healer. Whoa, guys, I didn't see you helping. In fact, I saw you dying like a whiny little. Peasant. Maybe I was dying because our battle turtle wasn't doing his job! How am I supposed to kill everything in the room when I get flanked? You are supposed to keep people off my ass! And you are supposed to keep healing me! Which brings me to my lack of powers, which I didn't have after I lost them! Did I mention losing my powers? Guys! And if he hadn't cut you off, we totally would have had him. Yeah. I didn't even know it was possible cutting off a cleric from his god. It's not. Not in the core rules, it isn't. It fits the story. It doesn't fit the rules. Story trumps rules. Again with this argument. Boss, we're down to our last copy of Pizza Tattoo. And of course I can't expect you to know where we keep our products, seeing as how you work for me. Argue on. What would you rather have? An original fantasy world with its own mysteries and pitfalls, or just another cookie-cutter setting with no real surprises. You should have told us that in your world a cleric could be cut off from his god. Why should I have told you that? Gary, would you have played a cleric if you know Lodge was just going to shut him down? Hell no. That's player knowledge, not character knowledge. You'd know, but your character wouldn't. That is what? so cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Talk a lot, pick a little more. It is not cool to let a character advance that far and pull something that huge on him. It was supposed to be a nasty surprise, something you weren't expecting. And because it was so unexpected, the party died. This is what happens when you mess with the rules. What were you thinking? Maybe that it would force you to role play. What do you think we were doing? Hey, guys, come on. Same time next week? I'm good. The new expansion for Samurai Baseball comes out on Friday. Looks very cool. You strike out, you commit seppuku. No. No, we're playing this one again. The same campaign? We've played it twice already. You guys want to do my campaign again? No. no. I have a reputation. There's not a game on these shelves that could beat me. So what kind of gamer would I be if I let some unpublished mod get the best of us? Thanks, Kess. That's, uh, that's real thoughtful. Hey, Gwen. Hey, Mitch. Hey.
Deck. God, I don't know why that keeps happening. Listen, we need two more players. Dude, I've got work in the morning. No, Dick, for your campaign. Listen, it's why we keep dying. We need a more well-rounded party. Listen, there's only so much damage three mad hombres can do, right? Ah, see the, didn't see that one coming, did you? Are you guys still gaming? We're playing Time Felons. We get to go back through time and, and beat the crap out of historical figures. I, I totally bushwhack Lincoln. Don't you have class in the morning? Yeah, in like five hours. Why? Take that, Jesus! Yeah, listen, I gotta go. It's almost my turn. Who's the Messiah now? Peace. I'm never going to finish this freaking module. Or they die again. They don't try anything new, and then they blame me when they die. Ungrateful munchkins. I'm really kind of pissed off. And that has nothing to do with your writer's block. I do not have writer's block. I know exactly how the story ends. I just don't know how to get there. Obviously, neither do your players. How am I supposed to finish a module based on an adventure if we never finish the adventure? Just run them through it until they win. Or your head explodes. We're gonna start all over again once we have a few new players. Mark. Mark, why don't you join? I mean, you used to game all the time in college. I haven't gamed since the incident. Total party wipeout? Like you can't even imagine. Hey, Cass. Lodge? Mark! Hey. Haven't seen you in a long time. It's like I forget you even exist. Yeah, I get that a lot. Ah, found one of the newbies. Oh, do I know him? Her. Joanna keeps bugging me to get her involved, so I figure we make her fighter. It's easy enough to play. Joanna? Your ex-Joanna? She'll be joining us? Yes, finally. Strong Lodge. Ever played with a girl before? Ah, see you scrubs tomorrow. Apparently we're leaving. See you at Leo's. I'll try not to slow things down too much. Oh, if, if let's, uh... Okay. Here. Uh, player's handbook. It's got, uh, all the rules, everything you need to know. Thanks, Kevin. I'll look it over. Kevin? Who the hell is Kevin? I'm Kevin. You have a first name? What you got? Half-breed. Loot the room or kicking the door? Kicking down the door. Hey, all right. That's everybody. Okay. Where's player number five? There is no fifth player. You said you were going to get us another player, Lodge. I asked 15 people, all regulars. Apparently, we have a reputation. Hmm. What did I tell you? You make one 11-year-old cry, and they stop bugging you. Yep. Well, we still need another player. I've taken care of it. Now, this is a mid-level campaign, so we'll be starting at ninth level. Here's Joe's character. What are you doing? I made a character for you. I want to play my own character. I know. That's why I made you one. You think I can't make my own character? Look, it's nothing personal. You're going to be our fighter. There's certain requirements you have to meet. Like what? Well... A fighter has to be the strongest guy in the party. Has to have a high armor class and hit points out the ass. And that is what I made for you. Let me see that. Bikini mail? Mm hmm? What the hell is bikini mail? Only the very best armor a female could wear. There's a picture of it right here. Uh, that looks like it chafes. <laughs> she fights with a broad sword? <laughs> Broad, I get it. Yeah. Kevin, help me out here. Kevin? 
Wait, your name is Kevin? <laughs> you have a first name? Guys, if Joanna made a character, she gets to play it. I agree with you in principle, <clears throat> Kevin. But she is new, and I don't want her to die just because she's inexperienced. What makes you think I'm gonna die? History. New guy always dies. That is so true. Hey, you remember the time that those halfling pirates made him want to play? Man. Or the time that those gnome shopkeepers ambushed Shut him? Shut up! Him? <laughs> or that asthmatic six-year-old princess with... Shut up! I flipped through that handbook. I think I got the gist of it. It doesn't seem that hard. Okay. Let's see your character, then. Um, what's, uh, what's your strength bonus? She doesn't have one. Her highest stat is her intelligence. I put her other bonuses in dexterity and charisma. Charisma? Whee! No strength bonus. No constitution bonus. Mm. How many hit points does she have? Uh, let me see. 45. Oh. Ah. 45 hit points. Mm -hmm. A ninth level fighter with 45 hit points. Oh, yeah, she's... Really gonna protect the party. I put her other feats in speed and precision. That's why intelligence is more important than strength. They would be if you were a wizard, but you're not. You're a fighter. A fighter with a giant kill me sign mm -hmm. on her back. With her charisma, she should be able to talk her way out of most fights. Uh, what? Negotiating isn't your style? Not exactly, no. Our philosophy is... Beat it until it stops moving. And then shoot it. And then step on its nags. Calm down, Gary. If you play this character, you are going to die. I spent two hours on this character, and I'm going to play her, okay? Okay. Okay. And when you die, you can play Bikini Baby. Fine. Why did you two break up again? Gary! Character. I'm a wild mage. Wild! But you losers can call me sorceress. Yes, that's right. I'm playing a chick. Dude, are you hot? 17 charisma. Wanna have sex? Totally. Awesome! I seduce him. Her. Yes! Oh, I could totally seduce any homophobe with that role. We haven't started yet. You guys haven't met. Yeah, all right. Bone you later. I'll be waiting, man meat. After we've started, please. Leo, I assume you're playing a fighter again? Actually, I'm going as a bard. Really? That's a bit of a jump for you. You've only played fighters before. How different can they be? I'm playing a monk. What's he gonna do, copy manuscripts? Think <laughs> Kung Fu monk, grasshopper. Oh. That doesn't seem to fit, does it? No, it doesn't. I told you guys that there are no monks in my world. No monks? I told you that if we're playing by third edition rules, I can play any basic character class. And Monk is a basic character class. I've based my world on a fantasized Western medieval period. There were no kung fu monks in Western Europe. If Joe can play any character that she wants, I can play any character that I want. I'm asking to play a basic character class, and you're blocking me. You're breaking the rules. Again. I play Monk or I don't play. And they don't play. I play. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Yeah. Uh... Fine. You can play a monk. But he's got to fit the world. He's got to be a Western monk. Bzzzt. Occidental. Do you think you can handle that? Of course. Good. Now, is there anything else? No. No, that's it. All right. Oh, I'm also playing an elf. What? No, you're not. Yeah, yes, I, I am. told you guys this is an all-human campaign. There are no elves in my world. Well, I told you that elf is a basic character race, and since we're playing... I'm not listening. By the Adventure rules, starting. And I Adventure. thought these fantastic when creatures comes running along, about, You I must stab it. it now when you face the room. evil throng, you, you must stab it. it. We begin in the throne room, where three of you have answered a summons to the king. His Royal Majesty, King Erasmus the Randomly Bias. There is a great evil in our land, the vile necromancer Mort Chemnon. Daily his power grows stronger, and yet it appears as if our goddess has forsaken us, for she answers not our prayers. Now can I seduce her? In the middle of the throne room? Why not? We started. <laughs>
Mort Kemnon has discovered an evil artifact, an accursed item known as the Mask of Death. Find him and kill him. Bring me this mask so that its evil may not spread across our land. Flop and wrist, the staff! I present to you this staff of resurrection. If one of your party should fall during the quest, it need not be their end. Go forth, noble heroes. May Theron light your way. Go forth, noble heroes. May Theron light your way. The city is near to bursting with a flood of refugees. You hear mutters of Mort Kemnon as they shuffle toward the safety of the castle. Corn! Celery! Oranges! Fresh bread! Onions! Cabbages? The finest cabbages in the land! I want to talk to the farmer. Why? Well, if he's from out of town, he might be able to tell us where the evil wizard is. That's a great idea. Thanks! Except that it sucks. There's no way that he'd know where he is. Why not? He's a random NPC. And as we all know, my NPCs are cardboard cutouts. NPC? <clears throat> uh, non-player character. Oh, right. Which, of course, I'm supposed to know. Don't worry about it. You don't need anything from him. We know where we're going. No, you don't. We've done the adventure twice before. We need to go to the mountains. Your characters don't know where to go. Wait, are you saying that there's not an adventure hook in the yes. mountains? No, it's beside the point. And the point is beside the mountains. Off we go. I still want to talk to him. It's what my character would do. How long have you been in town, my friend? Oh, scarcely a day, my lady. There are goblins in the mountains, you know. Boring! Have you heard anything strange in your travels? Rumors about where Mort Kemnon might be? <laughs> I believe the adventure is that way! Why, those mountains look westworthy. The sooner you tell me what you know, the sooner you can safely return to your land. Well, it may be nothing, but I've heard that things are not right in the west. <laughs> what the hell did you just cast? Flaming Hand of Fiery Doom. On a farmer? You cast a fourth level spell on a zero level peasant. Yeah. <laughs> Waffle. Total waffle. <laughs> that spell is for killing demons. I'm lawful good. Am I morally obliged to kill him now? What the hell were you thinking? I was just trying to get on with the story. How are we supposed to trust you? We just met. And the first thing you do after boinking a stranger in the presence of the king is to murder a peasant because you were bored? I'm chaotic neutral. I'm just playing my alignment. Bold plop, Gary. That was a decidedly evil act. You know, I think I am morally obliged to kill him now. One more of those, and I'm shifting your alignment to chaotic evil. Got it? Got it. How much experience do I get for the farmer? <laughs> Gary? Oh, are you forgetting something? Oh, uh, got some peasant on your face. Oh. Like what? Hail, Flynn the Fine. Hail, random creepy knife guy. <clears throat> Dumbass. Bardic knowledge? Oh, right. You are totally... The Lord High Inquisitor. Lord High Inquisitor! Of the Grand Illuminated Holy Order of Theron. What he said, hail. The Hierophant begs an audience. <laughs> Listen, uh, if this is about that farmer, I totally thought he was a demon. Follow us. No, no, seriously, uh, he was talking about there was like a hell gate in one of these things. Uh, seriously, no, there's, it's in here somewhere. He was, he had the horns and the fangs, and then he said he was gonna uh, pee fire on us. I had no choice, I had to like, I, I did this thing, I was like this, and then I was like, boom! And I'm pretty sure he was eating a baby. It was pretty awful. Uh, whoa, hey. We should take these. The Inquisitor leads you into the heart of the cathedral, where the Grand Hierophant of Theron himself awaits you. 
Our goddess thanks you for meeting with us ere you continue your journey. It is our honor, your grace. What is that? The heart of Theron. Legend says the gem is composed of solid light. Could I steal it? Well, considering that it's one of the holiest symbols of the church, and that the cathedral is swarming with paladins, that would most likely be suicide. Go right ahead. What is that heavenly music? The hymn to Theron. It calls to our goddess. I seduced the priestess. She's taken a vow of celibacy. Dude, 20 ranks in seduction. Hey, baby, wanna... Tune my mandolin. Please understand, the horny bard does not represent us. There are those who say that Theron has abandoned us in this dark time. Rest assured, she watches us always. Nevertheless, we shall send two of our own order to ensure your safety. Brother Silence, a most stubborn monk, who is... And Sir Osric the Chaste, our most noble paladin. A great babysitter. What? You have got to be kidding me. Lodge, you are such a douche. Sir Osric will assure that you never stray from the paths of goodness and law. You strike out for the mountains. The road winds higher through the foothills, and after a day, you have reached the foot of the pass. At the edge of a thick forest, a sign catches your eye. After a few hours, you come to a clearing in the pass. In the middle stands a twisted goblin totem. Perhaps we could sneak around? Not a chance. It's a trap. Not necess Not necessarily. It's always a trap. Doubtless, the goblins are merely waiting for an excuse. What are you doing? Where did you get that tomato? Hello, I'm a bard. I got your gob gob. Is this why? Are you trying to kill us? You know, I believe this is a totem to a goblin god. Oh, really? What kind of god? A god of the moon, I believe. A god of the moon, you say? Indeed I do. Hmm. Well, how do you worship a god of the moon? Ah, with my cute little tushy. An offering! <laughs> You're so angry. Oh, I wonder why. We only farted on God. Perhaps we can negotiate. <laughs> Don't worry. I got it. I'll totally pacify them with bardic music. Two goblin friends, two goblin friends, please hear my song. Yeah, yeah, you're dead. At 29 minutes, 42 seconds. New personal best, Leo. There's so many places I could stick that stopwatch. All right, everybody roll an ish. Initiative. Oh, right, to see who goes first. I roll one of these dealies, then add my dex bonus plus four. No, just your dex bonus. No, I also get plus four. That's what improved initiative does, right? It takes improved initiative. 
Okay, order. Joanna, Cass, Gary, Osric, then goblins. What about me? You're dead. Okay, so I take one of these and add my attack bonus and... You get another attack. I do. You, you took first strike. Uh, when you go first and drop an opponent, you immediately get another attack. Cool. Critical. I get another attack. <laughs> Expanded critical, critical momentum, and precise strike. You see, I add my int and dex bonuses to my crit range, and I get an extra attack every time I land a critical hit. What's your critical range? Let's see. 13 to 20, without bonuses. Holy crap in Christ! Critical! Critical! Five foot step. Critical! Cass, you're up. Gary! Lightning bolt! That'll go off in two rounds. What? Why? Wild magic, sex ball. Flynn pulls a Lazarus. And goblins. The goblins surround Daphne. Joanna? Hold my action. Cass? Move to assist Daphne. Twice. I'm here to protect you. My hero. Now? No, Gary. Osric uses the staff on Flynn. Sing it! Give it to me! Give it up! Oh, you can't, cause y'all dead! That's right! That is who takes improved initiative! 